Hello, it's Sam here from Unlock Democracy, and we also have Sarah here. So we are campaigning at the moment on the Great Repeal Bill, a bill that's going to be introduced, we think, in the next couple of weeks. That we're really concerned is going to um, water down our rights and freedoms without so much as a vote in Parliament. So today, Sarah's going to have a go at calling her MP, Tulip Sadiq, yep. I think it is, to um, convey her concerns. And we're going to show that it's hopefully quite easy for anyone else to do it as well. So let's give it a go. Yep, sounds good. Let's hope that someone's in today. So if no one's in, I'll just go ahead and leave a message. Hello. No call can't be taken at the moment. So please leave your message after the tone. Um, hi, good afternoon. Um, it's Sarah Parkamp calling. I'm a constituent of Tulips in um, Hampton and Kilburn. I just wanted to flag a concern that I've got about the repeal bill with Tulip. Um, what I'll do is I'll email these details through separately as well, just so you have my contact um, contact details. But in the meantime, I just wanted to flag sort of two two concerns. I was wondering if Tulip would sort of be able to sort of raise in Parliament. So the first is um, if she could ask the Leader of the House of Commons to give enough time for both Houses to scrutinise the repeal bill. Um, and also what the House of Commons estimates, sorry, the House of Commons Library estimates is going to be thousands of statutory instruments. Um, and I'd also be grateful if Tulip could ask the government to commit to not having a second reading of the bill before summer. I'm sort of particularly concerned about the, the scope of powers um, as proposed in the bill and the lack of sort of scrutiny and transparency mechanisms that currently exist, um, sort of both in the House of Commons and also in the House of Lords, to sort of adequately um, scrutinise uh, scrutinise the powers in the bill and the powers are going to be given to ministers. So, um, yeah, that would be much appreciated. I will email those details through as well separately. Thanks a lot. Bye. So there we are, you just left a message. Um, once you've got the briefing document, anyone can do that just as easily. So maybe we'll try another time and get to talk to them in person. Yeah, definitely. Definitely we'll be giving this another go. All right.